Well, greetings, folks. Bill O'Leary. Uh, and uh, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, what's the difference between an elder law attorney and an estate planning attorney? So uh, you're going to learn three things in this video. Number one, what an estate planning attorney does. Two, what an elder law attorney does. And three, how they um, are different. Uh, quick introduction. Again, my name is Bill O'Leary. I'm an estate planning elder law probate attorney uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, with my firm, Legacy Planning Law Group. So look, maybe you've heard of an estate planning attorney. What about an elder law attorney? And again, what are they? How are they same and how are they different? Let me explain. Estate planning and elder law really serve two different functions, uh, each of which I will tell you is very important. The main difference though is estate planning uh, focus uh, on what's gonna happen to your assets after you die. While with elder law, it's focused on preserving your assets during your lifetime. So an estate planning attorney, as you might imagine, helps people uh, you know, sort of figure out how they want their estate handled after they pass away. And uh, this would include things like uh, dividing up, let's say, physical uh, assets, property, maybe stocks, bonds, real estate. So uh, really, estate planning is very much of a proactive task. It's all about preparing for the inevitable which is that we're all going to die. Now, proper estate plans, what they do is they establish, uh, I like to call it the who, what, when, and how of what happens to your property, who gets your stuff, what they get, when they get it, and how they get it uh, after you die. The plan provides a roadmap for families to follow when they can no longer look to the client, uh, to the client that is for guidance, okay? So, so without a recognized estate plan, guess what? The court decides uh, how to distribute uh, your property. And the results, I can tell you, can be devastating for families that have, uh, you know, discussed maybe informal arrangements over the kitchen uh, table, but they weren't properly put down in writing through the appropriate planning. And so planning for where your money is going to go or who's going to care for your ch uh, children, let's say what happens if they become disabled, you know, this is where um, trusts are a great solution uh, because they really uh, allow for the smooth and easy and fairly inexpensive transfer of your estate after you pass away without having to go through the uh, probate court. Uh, again, good estate planning makes things smooth and easy after you die. It's also a great way for protecting uh, your kids' inheritance, protecting maybe from themselves because they're not overly responsible, maybe they have an addiction problem, but even if they are sort of the consummate responsible adult child, protecting from the two biggest risks uh, that any adult child has to losing their inheritance, number one, the possibility that they get divorced, and two, the possibility they get into some sort of liability situation, think uh, a, a car accident. Also, estate planning helps with those uh, other important tools like getting a power of attorney in place, advanced health care directives, living will, and so forth. Elder law now, on the other hand, it focuses really on the specialized needs of um, senior citizens. An elder law attorney is oftentimes also skilled in estate planning for sure, but they may have more specialized knowledge on elder law as well. An elder law attorney is, is familiar with sort of the long-term care legalities like nursing homes, uh, med Medicaid, guardianship, uh, and other things that are specifically related to the legal issues that an older person faces. Now, if an elderly uh, client, let's say, becomes incapacitated, planning is needed to protect their assets, their hard-earned assets, I like to call it the family treasure, uh, as well as helping to obtain the necessary uh, medical care. So, Hopefully that person in that situation, you know, already has the estate planning in place and has the written documentation uh, in place expressing their wishes for what happens if they become incapacitated. Then the elder law attorney will help that uh, person's family carry out those wishes in the best way possible. So elder law attorneys can, can help you sort of develop a plan for, pay, for paying for the future care uh, while preserving your assets for, for yourself as well as your family. 
Uh, and of course, they can also help you qualify for Medicaid and other, uh, let's say, government benefits for long-term care. So the bottom line is, is, is with an elder law attorney, they're concerned with ensuring that seniors really live long, uh, healthy, and financially secure lives. So, um, hey, if you'd like to know a little bit more about the difference between uh, an elder law attorney and an estate planning attorney, and maybe how we uh, can help, we'd love to talk to you. So as we do in these videos, we invite you to take that sort of initial baby step by uh, having a, a 15 minute phone call with it's complimentary. We don't charge for it, call it our discovery call. And to, to make it really easy for you to schedule it, just go to the link at the bottom of this video uh, and click on it. And it's our scheduler, it takes you to our scheduling page. Just pick the day and time that works for you. If you want more information about other similar topics, um, such as this one, uh, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Legacy Planning Law Group. Uh, we are putting up more and more videos uh, by the month. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, we would ask that you like it, better yet, share it. Uh, and so with that, until we talk again, Bill O'Leary signing off, go make it a great day and a better world.